Hi, everybody. Welcome to this edition of the Brocast, where we give you bite-sized bits of best practices to help you be a better leader and a more effective communicator. And ultimately, our goal is to help you protect your revenue, your reputation, and your brand throughout the year. We are now in week two of the new year. And last week, we looked at the concept of not making New Year's resolutions, but rather working to achieve consistency and continuity where you work so that there is continuous improvement. And in that video last week, we talked about the five steps to effective crisis communications. And I promised you that we would drill deeper each week for the next six weeks so that I can be your accountability buddy to help you start achieving effective crisis communications, consistency, and continuity. So this week, we want to look at vulnerability assessments. Let me identify what that is and, and let me talk a little bit to you about why you need to do it. Some organizations do assessments for their incident command plans, and that deals with things that blow up, or events that could harm people, such as workplace shootings. And then other organizations have a business continuity team or a risk management team that basically assesses things that could damage revenue, but that require continuity of business operations so the organization doesn't lose any money. Both of those are effective, but you need to add a layer to it when it comes to crisis communications. Because if a situation arises to a crisis, it isn't necessarily a disaster or emergency. It may not even trigger the emergency operations plan. It may not trigger the business continuity plan. Sexual harassment is a perfect example of a smoldering crisis. Misbehavior by an executive doesn't trigger either of those other two plans. Here are tips for doing your own vulnerability assessment. First, you can get a clipboard and a spreadsheet or a laptop and an Excel spreadsheet and visit with people throughout the organization and ask them what keeps them up at night, what vulnerabilities do they see, what situations do they see that could become a crisis. And again, we define crisis as an event that could affect your revenue, your reputation, and your brand. A more advanced way to do that is to have a facilitated event where it lasts for about two or three hours. Set up round tables in a room, set up easels along the wall with markers and big flip charts, and allow teams from various departments within your organization to discuss vulnerabilities and let them write them out on those easels and then let the facilitator go from table to table and allow someone in each of those organizations to present out their vulnerabilities. Make sure you have a master scribe in the room to capture all that is said, to have great notes, because ultimately at the end of the event, you want to be able to print a master vulnerability assessment list. That vulnerability assessment list is going to be used in several ways. First, it will be the pathway to help you understand what your crisis communications plan needs to address. Secondly, in step three of effective crisis communications, I always talk about pre-written news releases. The items on the vulnerability assessment are the same items that will become pre-written news releases in your library of pre-written statements. It'll also be the things that in step four, you use for media training. And in step five, you'll use your vulnerability assessment to help pick scenarios that would make for good crisis communications drills. One last thought on vulnerability assessments. Do them at least once a quarter. If you wish, do them once a month. Organize a small group of individuals from various departments and put a date on the calendar, not just for this year, but for this year and next and ongoing. So that, on a, that, so that on a regular basis, a team of people get together and discuss those vulnerabilities and make adjustments to your crisis communications plan, to your news releases, to your media training and your drills. The vulnerability assessment is essentially the foundation that you need 
achieve effective crisis communications. I hope during this year, you don't have any crises. But if you do have a crisis, I hope that you are prepared and that you have the tools that you need. If I can be assistance, as always, reach out. For the broadcast, I'm Jared Brough.